What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we will be talking about our biggest questions that we currently have about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With there not yet being a second trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we really only have the reveal trailer to go off of so we have many questions about these games and I think the first one for me is what is open world going to look like and what i mean by that is in terms of scaling so the thing is these games are the first open world games so that means you'll be able to freely explore normally in a pokemon game the city that has the eighth gym you're not going to be able to go to it until you have seven badges or, or something like that but this game is advertising that you'll be able to freely explore so at the beginning of the game i can go to any city first without any badges or anything now i'm wondering how this is going to work in terms of like will the wild pokemon be scaled to you if i go to the city that they kind of intend for it to be the last gym or the kind of area around where the legendary is found will all the pokemon be level 50 even though i just got my level 5 foy coco or are they going to kind of scale them more to around your level or how many badges you have or something like that and on that note how will gyms work will i have to still do the gyms in a certain order but i can still freely explore and go anywhere i want or will they allow you to pick the orders of gyms and if they allow you to pick the orders of gyms will they scale the gyms levels like is it a thing of i can challenge the eighth gym right when i get level five foy coco but he's still going to use level 50 dragon types you know it, it, is it going to work like that or is it going to scale with you or are they just going to make it where yeah you can explore anywhere but you do have to do the gyms in a certain order on that note my next question is will there be gyms we do not know that there will be gems in these games. We have seen them do without gems in some games. Pokemon Legends Arceus did not have gems. Now, I think that made sense because they were set in the past and battling and trainers were such a new and crazy concept. So, obviously, there were no gems yet. But we did see in the Alola region that there were no gems. It was these island trials instead. Furthermore, we even know that there will be kind of a school setting in these games, so they very well could, instead of doing gyms, do, like, tests. So, like, you kind of, because it's a school setting, you have these exams you have to pass in the place of gyms. Now, I'm sure they would still be battling, like, oh, here's an exam on water types, and it's a battle against a water type expert in a similar way to how the island trials were still themed around typings there was a grass type trial and a fire type trial etc but will there be gems or will something take the place of them in these games personally of course i hope for gems i love gems i love gem battles but you know I, I will be open to anything pokemon suggests i'm gonna give it a try before i hate on it or at least see what it is before i hate on it now our last big burning question is one that we kind of have an answer to like we we have the beginning of an answer to and that is what is going on with the plaza that is seen in the very beginning of the or the very first trailer of pokemon scarlet and violet this plaza is shown multiple times throughout the trailer they cut away to it they pan around it it's very clear this plaza is a big deal to this region so what's going on there now we can heavily assume that this is a tie-in to the gimmick of these games because the plaza is a similar shape to the little symbol that we see on the japanese logos and the japanese logos have a history of having the symbol for whatever the gimmick is starting with x and y where we kind of got our first gimmick and mega evolution so i i do think that it's safe to say the plaza will tie into the gimmick but the question is what is the gimmick and why is it such a big deal you know what i mean there's this place that represents the gimmick it's very important to this region and to me it even seems like it is more so than any other game 
I mean, the, the Sundial, which is kind of the tie-in to Mega Evolution and X and Y, was not featured this much in the early trailers. So I, I'm very curious to see what will be going on with this plaza and with this gimmick. And, and at the end of the day, while we can assume that it is the gimmick, we still don't really know. It could always be something else. It, we notice there is a court in the middle of it that looks like it's held for battles. So could this be where you have gym battles or where you battle prominent people? I, you know, I mentioned that instead of gyms, there could be some kind of exams. This area seems to be held in front of what I believe to be the school. So it's very possible that you could have these exams out here. Either way, we definitely need to know what's going on with this plaza. So there you have it, guys. Those are our kind of big questions for what's going on with Scarlet and Violet and what we are really hoping to know sooner rather than later. That is, once again, what will open world look like in terms of scaling? Like, will there be any scaling? Will gems or whatever kind of challenges or obstacles they put in the game that's kind of the equivalent to gems will they be scaled to your level will you have to do them in a certain order even though you can explore the region freely how will all that work and then of course will there even be gems will something be taking the place of them in this game what will be the obstacles of this game like gems were in the past or island trials were in the past or those noble battles were in legends arceus and of course what is going on with that plaza and the little symbol in the Japanese logo. What's the gimmick? Is it tied to the plaza? If not, what is the plaza there for? And why is it so dang important? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think of these questions, what you think the answers to them will be, and of course, what your biggest questions are for Scarlet and Violet, and what you're hoping are revealed in the next trailer. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. At some point, these questions will be answered, and when they are, you know we'll be covering it. And as time goes on, we'll get more questions. And we'll be asking those too. You don't want to miss those, as well as all of our other Scarlet and Violet and just general Pokemon stuff. So again, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Until next time, I will see all of you later.